Despite being thousands of miles away from the shelling in Ukraine, Marta Halievska gets anxious when she hears loud sounds. The freshman at Dartmouth College is often thinking about her family who fled the Russian military, her dad who remains in their hometown, and when she'll be able to return home. She's afraid to go to sleep and miss news about her family. You kind of enter like this alternative world where you're not in America and you're not in Ukraine, you're like somewhere in between, she said, describing her experience as secondhand PTSD. And this just affects your mental health a lot. Why am I here in the safe place where they are not? She said. Sometimes, it's like one step away from despair. Halievska is one of hundreds of Ukrainian students living in the United States and anxiously awaiting news about friends and family who remain there amid the invasion. Many are balancing studying abroad with organizing on campus to raise awareness about the war. Unsure if they'll be able to return to Ukraine when their programs end, many are trying to find ways to stay in the country longer. It is really hard to be going through a crisis in your country when you're not in your country, said Sarah Ilchman, co-president of the Institute of International Logic. Maybe there are people at home who are going to pay for their tuition and that's not there anymore. The EE has launched grants and scholarships, and is taking donations, to provide resources for Ukrainian students, threatened and displaced scholars, and student refugees, Ilchman said. On campuses, international student service offices are also facilitating emergency funding, helping connect Ukrainian students and offer mental health resources. That's so critically important to support students holistically, said Ilchman. <laughs>